Hi guys and welcome back to Lilac Stables and today I'm going to be showing you guys my Briarfest 2021 haul. And to start off this haul, of course, we have Danny. So Danny was the Briarfest 2021 celebration horse. And this girl is so, so gorgeous. I'm so happy that Briar decided to have this girl as a celebration horse for this year. And they did such a great job picking her. She is lovely. And I'm really loving this packaging they did this year. Every year, Briar does absolutely amazing on their celebration horses packaging. I really love this paint background and just her name on there looks really, really lovely. And she just looks so beautiful. I love the blue and the pink against her coat color and looks super, super nice. But let me get her almost out of her box. And if you see her almost out of her box, she looks super, super lovely, like I said, against those colors. But let's get this girl fully out of her box. So here we have Danny fully out of her box. And wow, you guys, this girl is so so lovely i'm so happy to finally have her in my hands and see her in person she is just as gorgeous in hand as she is on her pictures online she is gorgeous so i have seen the real danny and that girl is beautiful and Briar did such an exceptional job on her as well i love all the bigger appaloosa spots that she has on her hips compared to the smaller spots on her belly and i really love how they gave her the black and white mane i really love those colors how they look and she just looks amazing. This girl is so, so beautiful. I'm so happy that Briar picked her as a celebration horse. And she is just so, so, so lovely. And I really love that Briar added these hoof details to her. So she has these goldeny hooves. And I really love how they added some black stripes on her hooves as well. The only other model that I have that has these exact same hooves as her is my little Ricky Rocker, which is so cool. And now we can take a closer look at Danny's face. So Danny's face is super, super sweet. She is so, so lovely. And I really love all the speckling that's all over her face. And I really love that snowflake kind of looking star that she has in her forehead. And she is so, so, so lovely. I love the coloring around her face. It's so nice. And I really love that really, really big chin mouth spot that she has. And it's super cute and pink. I really love how this looks. And this girl is just so 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 lovely oh my goodness and on her spotted belly in gold it does say briar briar fest 2021 and if we take a look at the back of danny's box we can see the lovely paint color that it has on the back it has the briar fest logo for this year the horse of a different color logo that looks super super nice and it does have information about danny and a really really cute picture of her and her owner and of course this briar fest was all about paintings and different arts throughout the years and every year we never know what briar has up their sleeve so this year there were actually variations to the briar fest models and there were some briars that were a 50 50 split and some of them had a small variation extra of 200 pieces made so if you guys see here this uffington is originally 1800 of the cremello but briar made 200 extra pieces of this black holographic model and you guys cannot believe which one of the special run variations I got. Oh my goodness, do you see the black coming out of the packaging? That's right, you guys. I got the black holographic Uffington variation. So whenever I was taking out all my special runs from the package that I got or the box, I saw black peeking out of this long, long package. And oh my goodness, you guys, this guy is so 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 gorgeous i don't know if you guys can see it but he is like a silver gray but in certain light you can see that really nice rainbow holographic color that's all around him and he looks so so gorgeous i'm trying to see if the camera or the ring light can pick up his color i don't know if you guys can see it on the side of his body but look, oh my goodness, you guys, that color is so, so gorgeous. And like I said, under certain light, the light is really, really gorgeous and the color really pops out. But this guy is so, so, so incredible. Oh my goodness. This mold is actually really nice. The Altenai mold is really, really cool. And I love that on his legs, at the tips of his legs, they're actually really black. And then it starts to blend into the holographic paint color that it's all over his coat which i think is super super cool i really love how briar did this model it's so so gorgeous and this guy is just really 
really nice i know at first i didn't want any of the variations i really wanted the original uffington because i really love perlino cremello models and i really love aquatechies and i love there there was this one meme about this really beautiful cremello aquatechie that was like someone asked this what highlighter she uses because she was just so golden and it just reminded me of uffington i really wanted the original one but this guy is just as gorgeous and at first i was thinking about trading him if i were to trade this guy i was like okay what would i trade him for and if i were to ever trade this guy i don't think i would sell him just because his selling point is just insane and i don't want to be like the other sellers that are just crazily selling him for a really high price i just i think i would just trade him for a regular uffington with a bristol if anybody would want to but he will be staying in my collection since as of right now he is my most rarest model in my collection being only 200 of him produced so he will be staying with me for a while until until one day i won't have room for him but for right now he will be staying in my collection and he is really really lovely and i'm so happy and i can't believe i was so lucky in getting him this dude is actually really 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 beautiful and if we take a closer look at his face we notice that his eyes are just pitch black unlike uffington the, the regular Uffington that had blue eyes, this guy just has really, really dark black eyes. And I really love his hair. I really love the hair on this mold. It's super, super cute. But yeah, his eyes are just really black. They're just completely black, but it does fit the model really, really well, of course, because of his color. And I really like how Briar made his muzzle black, just like his legs. And it looks super, super cool. I love the detail there. It looks super nice. And look, I don't know if you guys can see that rainbow on the other side, but it looks super, super gorgeous. And every time I look at this guy, I think that he looks like Uffington's goth twin brother. And this guy is absolutely flawless, but the only flaw that I did see is this scratch or unpainted part under his gloss on his hoof rack here. But overall, he is really gorgeous and flawless. And on his shiny belly, it does say Briar Briarfest 2021 in black. So next up here, we have Grand Cavallo. So Grand Cavallo was literally in my top two special run choices. I'm so, so happy that this year for Briarfest, I got my top two special run choices. And I'm so, so happy that I was able to get this guy because as most of you know, who have been watching my videos and following up on my channel that I do collect this mold. And this guy is going to be the fourth model now in my Peruvian Paso Conga. And these guys are just so, so lovely. After getting the 2002 Celebration Horse RSV and Navidable, I fell in love with this guy. And I really love how this is the first model on the mold that has the most drastic color. Because all the other Peruvian Pastos are all a solid color. Besides um, Manco Capac, that is a roan. But this is the most extreme markings ever done on this mold and he is just so so lovely i love all his sabino markings i love how his legs are completely completely white and his pattern is just so so lovely i also love his mane oh my goodness i can never get enough of this guy's mane it's so 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 full i love it and i love how his mane is black and like this really nice mahogany bay color it's so so nice how not only does he have amazing shading in his coat color but his mane and tail also have these really nice shading in the color and it's so so nice and lovely where i did an amazing job with this guy and if we turn grand cavallo to his other side we can see how lovely his other markings are on this side and they look super super cool i love it and if we take a look at grand cavallo's face oh my goodness you guys i'm so in love with his eyes i'm so happy that briar decided to give him detailed eyes i really love how they give him the black and the brown in the eyes and he looks so so cute i love how he looks and i really love how his markings just cover both of his eyes so they kind of look like a mask and i think it's so so cute he's so so lovely and i really love this boy he is now one of my most favorites in my collection he is just so so lovely and i love him so much and of course on his belly in that really nice gold font we see briar barfus 2021 just perfectly placed there and last but not least, we have my most favorite store special from this year, and we have Reverence Plus. So whenever Briar came out with pictures of him as the store special for this year, I literally screamed. He is perfect. I love Arabians. I really love this mold. This is actually the first ever model in this mold that I have in my collection, and I've always wanted one. He is so, so lovely. When I found out that he is a buckskin 
paint arabian i immediately fell in love and i knew i needed him in my collection so this guy is so so gorgeous in this really nice blue and purple paint background it's so so lovely and again bar does amazing with their packaging for these special edition models and they're just so so lovely and if we take reverence out of his box we can see his really really nice rich buckskin color oh my goodness you guys he is just so so lovely and just this like overall paint pattern that he has going on is just so so amazing i just love everything about this guy he is so perfect and i wanted him in gloss of course but i just needed this model now in my collection so in december i might be on the lookout for a glossy reverence because this guy is just so 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 lovely he is just amazing and if you flip reverence to his other side you can see his other lovely paint marking on his other side i love how his hair parts right there it's super super cool i love all the spots and i realized that my reverence is actually a factory goof because on his back right leg they did not paint his leg if you notice there it's kind of just white because they didn't paint that darker part of his leg they did paint the chestnut but they did not paint the, his legs so it's kind of funny that he is a factory goof so it just makes him even more special and it's just really funny i really really do love this guy he is so so lovely and i'm so happy to add this arabian to my collection and if we look at reverend's face we can see how cute the ashguar molds face is you guys he is just so so cute and adorable and i really love how reverend has this thick blaze on his face and he is just super super cute this guy is so 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 adorable and if we take a look at the back of reverend's box we can see his name a little bit about reverend himself the Briar Fest logo for this year and a really really cute picture of the real reverence and on his buckskin belly it does say Briar Briar Fest 2021 in black and that is it for today's video thank you guys so so much for watching this video and watching my Briar Fest haul if you would like to watch my other model that I was going to add to this haul don't forget to check out my pre-2021 Briar Fest haul that I will try to put in the cards up here or if not I'm going to add the link to the description down below but again, thank you guys so, so much for watching this video and sticking around to the end. If you like this video, don't forget to leave a big thumbs up down below. Comment down below which models did you get because I would love to hear what you guys got. Don't forget to share this video with your other horse-loving friends. But most important of all, do not forget to subscribe to Lilac Stables for more horse and briar videos. Again, thank you guys so, so much for watching this video and I'll see you in my next video. Bye, guys!